everyone, I am back with my favorite video to make. Now, it used to be that I love to make my monthly favorites, but I have to say, it brings me much more joy to see your favorites from the things that I've shared with you from the months before. So today we are revisiting February just briefly to bring you your favorites, the viewer favorites from February, 2022. And we're gonna start off with the overall top 10 and then break out into categories. So I do have it all printed out. I cannot memorize these things. So number one overall is the Time and True tiered midi dress. I have it in the light wash denim, well, chambray. I've raved about this. I'm concerned that it's selling out. It has pockets. It's the perfect length. It's the perfect weight. You can wear it now under a jacket or a cardigan with tights or leggings if it's still cold where you are. It transitions easily into warm weather. It's very light and airy. I wore it on our cruise and I didn't get overheated. It does run really big. I'm wearing it in an extra small and there is a lot of room there. So just be sure to size down a full size if you can. Next is this. This is the Jackie sweater. It's from Avara. It comes in various colors, but I love this salmon-y kind of coral color. It is the softest, most unique material. It's almost like a scuba knit material, and I love it. I do have a 15% off discount code for you, and I'll put that on the screen and down in the description box as well. That discount code is not an affiliate code. I don't get anything whether you use it or not. The affiliate part is if you click on the link down in the description box, then I do get a commission from that if you actually buy something. Just wanna make sure you understand how that works. Okay, number three in the top 10 is this big guy. This is the <laughs> this is the Dyson Airwrap. And luckily I had decluttered my bathroom cabinet so I had room to put this whole thing in. I will say that the only con I have aside from the price, I know it's insane, is this is huge. Not a lot of people have room for this to just shove it in a cabinet in their bathroom. I don't know if you know what's inside. First, there's this. This is sort of like a heat protected pad. You can lay your stuff down on it. I never use it. And then in here are all the attachments. And I did go ahead and purchase the longer barrels, which made it so much easier for me to use them as like curling styling ones. The ones that come with it, are significantly shorter, even with this shorter length hair. I'm not ready to show you guys how to do it because I am still learning myself, but I have to say, now that I've taken my extensions out, my hair dries so quickly. I don't know if you know this, but generally extensions take longer to dry than the hair that grows out of your head. So lately, all I've been doing is using this guy just to blow it out straight, give it a little flick, and so fast and easy. When I travel with this, and I have been traveling a lot, and I took this with me on all our little trips, I just have a little pouch, like a little travel pouch, and I just throw in the attachments that I wanna use so that I'm not lugging this giant thing with me everywhere I go. All right, number four on the top 10 is this graphic print blouse. I picked more springy, kind of brighter colors, but there are a myriad of color options. I really do like this earth-toned one. Let me pop that in. It has mustard yellow and hunter green. It's beautiful. I sized up to a medium so I could wear it long over leggings, but I really don't think I needed to do that. I think a small still would have been long enough and roomy enough. So just I, my recommendation, go with your true size. I would love to hear back from those of you who purchased it and let me know what you thought of the sizing. Okay, number five, I was happy to see the scoop pleated midi dress. It's so pretty. I would love to hear back from you where you are wearing it. Did you buy it for a specific occasion or did you just buy it because you saw it when I shared it on my Walmart try on and thought I just need to have this because it's just such a great dress? I would love to know. Moving on, number six, is also from Scoop, far more casual. It's this pullover, it's a cinch neck and a cinch waist, very casual, great over leggings, great over joggers. Let me just give you a word of caution when you wash it. I threw mine in my washing machine and one of the neckties snagged in the door and I just pulled it out instead of gently trying to untangle it and I ripped the metal end off one of the ties. So all I did is just tie it into a little knot and then I cut the metal end off the other neck pull tie part and did a little knot. So it looks like I did that on purpose, but just wanna let you know, especially if you have a front loader, beware of that. 
Okay, this was a pleasant surprise that this made the top 10 at all. It was number seven and it's the Eliza J floral gown that I purchased for our formal night on our cruise. I have an older version because I got mine at Saks Off Fifth, but I've linked to the more current 2022 version, which I actually like a little bit better. It's all neutral, so you can pair it with any kind of accessories, and I just think it's a little more versatile. I do love the one that I have, but I can appreciate if you're gonna invest that kind of money in something that you could be able to wear it a number of times in a variety of ways. Okay, number eight, we pop into beauty real quickly and it's this little guy. This is the Westman Atelier. I call it the contour stick. It has an official name. I have it in the shade Biscuit and I've been using it pretty much every single day with the exception of I've been testing a drugstore kind of dupe for this. So aside from those few days, this is what I reach for. My only con is that the cap doesn't twist on. It just sort of pops on. And it's fine when I keep it in the drawer in my makeup area in my bathroom, but when I travel and it's in, I don't know where to, oh yeah, I've been traveling with this lately. Um, it's a John Hart pouch. When I put it in a pouch like this, oftentimes the little cap will pop off, which is kind of annoying because you don't want it to, you know, get all over the place. So when I'm traveling, I make sure I wind it down so that the actual product is well below the top of the canister. Number nine are these Time and True woven flats. The ivory color is throwing off my camera. It doesn't want to focus on these. They do come in other colors and they are selling out pretty quickly. So these are very similar to something that's going to come up later when I break out into accessories from Dolce Vita. So I'll compare those when we get to it, but they have the um, memory foam in the bottom, which is nice. They have a nice sort of elongated shape, even though it's a square toe. So I think it is flattering for a flat shoe. And I like that you have different color options. So. Love this more budget-friendly option. And then number 10, I did not bring with me. I will insert a picture here. This has gone all over the United States and into the Caribbean. It is my MZ Wallace travel tote. I love it because I can stuff it and stuff it and stuff it. I can put little pouches in it. There are different organizational pockets along the inside and even on the outside. It has the luggage sleeve and it is so lightweight. So even though I can overstuff it and I tend to do that, the actual bag itself is incredibly lightweight, so it doesn't get too heavy. I adore it. Okay, let's move on to beauty. So number one was the Dyson Airwrap. Number two was the Westman Atelier Contour Stick. Number three, we haven't talked about it yet. Well, we talked about this a lot. It is the little Revlon Volcanic Face Roller. Basically, it's the same thing as blotting papers, but it's a roller, and it just absorbs any oil that is sitting on your face. I haven't used this in a while, because it's been cold, but hopefully we're turning the corner and this might actually get some use as the weather warms up for me. Number four is what is on my lips. It's a newer color. So this is one of the new L'Oreal lipsticks. It's that glow and balm lipstick. So it's a balm and a lipstick sort of combined. And it's very creamy. It feels so nice on the lips. It has the same consistency as the Nivea lip balms that I love. This is a new color. I don't think I've shared it. It's called Nude Heaven. The original color I shared with you, Pastel Exaltation, I adore. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in a purse, somewhere in this house. I just don't know where. Do you any of, I'm, I feel like I'm asking you guys a lot of questions as if you're actually here, but how many of you do that? As you're switching purses, you forget to take lipsticks and things out, and then you go back a month later to use a purse, and you're like, oh, there it is. Yeah, happens to me all the time, but I love this formula. No, it does not stay on the lips particularly long because it's very balmy. It has a lot of slip, but it feels so, so nice on the lips. I do not care. And number five in beauty favorites from you all is the newly reformulated Clay de Peau Concealer. And I have to admit, I, one, I'm surprised. I'm surprised because I have so many favorites that are very budget friendly from Walmart and Amazon. And then in the flip side, I will have a number of favorites that are way high budget. It just goes to show you that we all have tastes along the entire spectrum, tastes and budgets apparently. Anyway, this Clay de Peau uh, concealer has an SPF of 20 something. I still can't read the little, I think it's 27. And I wear mine in the shade number one, ivory. This newly reformulated version is creamy enough if you wanted to wear it under your eyes. Admittedly, I usually don't unless I'm in a super hurry, but 
just a, a quick, especially for no makeup days, just boom, boom, boom where you need it and then buff it in or warm it up with your fingers. It's really, really good. And I know it's an investment. I know this, but it does last a really, really long time. It's definitely one of those, if you're not a beauty hoarder like me, you could have just this and maybe one concealer for under your eyes and you're good for years, literally years. Okay, moving on to accessories. Number one were these flats. Number two was the MZ Wallace tote. Number three, again, strangely, is this guy, my resin watch band from my Apple Watch. I have it in the shade Flower Pink, but it's pretty, it's barely there pink, which is what I like. There are a ton of other color options. I've had this for years now, and it's still, I mean, I'll show you, probably a little dirty. I could stand up and clean it, but look, it's not rusting, it's not wearing. I wear it all the time, I wear it in the shower. It's been wearing really well. When I exercise, I wear it, so it's been sweated on, it's been in the shower, it's been in the pool, holding up great, and it's under 20 bucks. Uh, number four is this guy. I love, oh, maybe it's in here. Nope, I don't hear anything. This is the Whitney Crossbody from Gigi New York. I don't know if this camo shade is still available. It has a nice pocket here. It has an open slip pocket here. And then inside, is there a lipstick? No, <laughs> it's just a big open pocket, nice thick webbing strap. It's the same strap that um, is on the Gigi Marnie satchel, except this one isn't adjustable. And um, the one at my bag is, I insisted. It's also removable though, if you wanna swap it out and put on a different strap of your choice. Absolutely love this. And then the last thing in viewer favorites for accessories is the original Dolce Vita Paley slide, I believe it's called, and I just wanted to share with you right next to it, the time and true version. So obviously this is a flat, but the straps, you can see these are a little bit thinner and these are a little bit smooshier. Um, they give a little more, there's a little more padding to them. But other than that, obviously they are very similar. There are a lot of other brands that are doing uh, knockoffs of the Dolce Vita one. Uh, Target started it last year. I think they've released more and I've tried one other version in the heeled version of this and found them not to be as comfortable. I wear these pretty much every day when it's warm enough to. I have noticed about myself personally that I have a ton of shoes and I wear like three pairs. <laughs> um, so for the winter, pretty much every day I was wearing my cedar booties and now that the weather is warming up, this is what I'm wearing. I don't know. I find I like a nice, good, neutral shoe and I just stick with it. I'm at the point in my life where it just needs to be comfortable. I still want it to be cute. And so here we are. Again, would love feedback from you guys. Do you like to switch out, wear all kinds of different shoes or do you find that you gravita gravitate towards the same few pairs every day? Let me know. Okay, moving on to lifestyle. I don't know how this made them, I don't know what, like I would love to know what's going on in everyone's life that this made the top for lifestyle. This is the Energizer LED lantern. You um, have, it takes batteries actually. And then it has a little port in here so you can charge USB items this way. And then obviously, wah, it lights up. It has different light, even like the, I don't think you can see it in this light, but there's a very low night light version there. Storm season is coming, so if you don't have some lanterns, you might wanna stock up. I have several of these, and Jake and Shane both have these in their apartments as well. Number two in lifestyle, these are a perennial favorite, and I should not have chosen these shoes. White does not film well on camera. Just a side note, a gajillion years ago, I went to one Oprah show taping when I lived in Chicago, and the, I don't know if, it, I don't know if email existed. Somehow we were told, to wear solid colored things, solid colored tops, and not to wear white because it throws off the camera. Anyway, you should know better than to share white things on screen, but I'm referring to the shoelaces, the no tie shoelaces. I love these things when I do wear a sneaker or anything that ties, I love these because then it turns every sneaker into just a slip on. So much easier, They come; those come in kid sizes and adult sizes, so for those of you who um, don't want to bother tying your kids shoes a million times a day or you want to give your kids teacher a break So that they don't have to stop and tie your kids shoes aside from teaching them how to tie their shoes That is also a good alternative um, number three 
so excited for this because I have news about this to update you is the Better Homes and Gardens Cozy Knit Throw that I love so much. I have three or four of them now, but they released a new color combo and it's designed for my house. It's like that pretty powder blue and white and the price is fantastic. So go check those out. They're still all fully stocked on the website, which makes me so, so happy. Number four are, which ones? These, okay, these are from the Trusted Lab. You should know by now that for months I've been using and loving the Trusted Lab Extra Strength Night Gummies. These are the original ones I've been using. These have melatonin and CBD in them and I go to sleep not groggy. It's not like I'm knocked out like on an ambient or something, but it definitely helps me fall asleep and stay asleep. However, they recently released these and these are the 150 milligram good night gummies with high potency CBN. CBN is different than CBD. I need to do a whole separate video. Again, more feedback. If you're interested in the difference between CBN and CBD, let me know. I have lots to tell you about it. This is melatonin free. A lot of you would prefer not to take stuff with melatonin. It reacts negatively with you. I understand that. These are a lot stronger. Um, these knock me out faster and I stay absolutely just, I mean, I can wake up, but I can tell the difference between the two. So I save these for nights where I really know I want to get a good night's sleep. Maybe if I'm having a little anxiety, these work a little bit better. If I'm full on anxious, I'm going to wake up but this helps take it down enough that I can actually fall asleep. So I love them both and I do have a discount code for that. It's just my name, Marnie, M-A-R-N-I-E, and it gets you 10% off. And then the last lifestyle favorite, we're back to this again, is the Woolite at-home dry cleaning kit. I get mine from Amazon. You can get it at the grocery store, but the price is better on Amazon. This comes with um, 14 packets and you just open this individual packet and it's almost like, it looks like a baby wipe and you unfold it and you throw it in the dryer and you throw four or five garments in there, medium heat for 20 minutes, and they come out beautiful. If there's a specific stain on any of the garments, you take the wipe and you kind of dab at it first and then throw it in there. And it works like a charm. I mean, it's not gonna press it, but it will come out wrinkle-free, smelling fresh, and I'd say it works on things like sweaters, blouses, a suit if you wanna freshen up a suit, blazers. If you have stuff that needs to be pressed and starched, this isn't gonna be your go-to, but it really saves on dry cleaning costs in a big way. So that is it for your favorites from last month. I have lots more to share, so be sure you are subscribed so you can find out more of what my favorites are throughout the month of March, which is one of my favorite months because it started with Michael's birthday on the 1st and it ends with my birthday on the 30th. Well, it ends on the 31st, but you know what I mean. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this. I can't wait to get your feedback. I'll be reading all your comments. So go to it, start typing, and I'll see you in the next one.